Hey everybody, we're doing a thermal video today. It's uh, mid-November in southeastern Wisconsin, and uh, we've got a beautiful sunny day today. Uh, air temperatures in the mid-50s. So looking at my concrete slab here, uh, the slab itself is around 50 degrees Fahrenheit in most areas. But what's interesting is the sun's very low in the sky this time of year, so it's really the horizontal surfaces that pick up heat. So if we look right here, Here's a cinder block. It's been kind of soaking in the sun all day, and it's uh, it's over 70 degrees. And if I look over here, here is also cinder block, but it's got some insulation over the top of it. And because of that, the heat really can't sink into the cinder block. So here, the surface of the insulation is almost 100 degrees. It's Depending on where we're looking, it's mostly high 90s. If I put my hand on here, sure enough, it feels nice and warm. Um, if I have a 100-degree concrete floor, that's going to feel super nice. So interesting, uh, the difference just between insulated and uninsulated. Or even if we look at the back of this non-insulated cinder block, temperature is around low 50s. So we've got a 20-degree difference uh, just from being the side in the sun or not, uh, even on the top, we can see a bit of a gradient. It's not perfect because the uh, the sun is shining on both the the front and the top of the cinder block. But uh, interesting to see that gradient. Uh, another thing that I found interesting about the concrete slab here is over on the side where um, it's not shaded by the stem wall. If I get in close enough. So here we're looking at, uh, up here, that's that's dirt, it's all bumpy, some of it's in the sun, some's in the shade because of the odd shape, that's why that looks so unusual. Then we've got a layer of styrofoam, and then our six inch cinder block, but if I get in close at the right angle, right in here, I got 53.6 degrees, and here I've got less than 51. So if I get the camera right, we can actually get that two inch band of insulation that's under the concrete to show up. And it's kind of neat to see that um, that part of the concrete is actually heating up a little bit quicker from the sunlight because it's not nearly as thick right there. So we can actually use the uh, thermal imaging as a little bit of an x-ray scan. Now of course, I've got the pecs underneath all the concrete here. but it's not heated yet. So uh, the concrete is just uh, basically the air temperature uh, plus a little bit of uh, sunlight. That's about it. Uh, obviously the back stem wall, the north side, is getting some sunlight on it. And if we look over here on the west side, uh, this is being shaded now. So you can clearly see the shade line, the shadow line. Concrete here, almost 54 degrees, but in the shade, you know, we're talking about a seven degree difference, sun versus shade. So uh, you can see how straight and hard that line is. It's um, it's not a gradient, it's, it's pretty straight and hard. So that kind of shows how the concrete doesn't really uh, spread the heat out very well. Um, so that's one thing when people talk about spacing, PEX tubing and hydronic heat, uh, why you want to make sure your spacing is close enough together to get even heat rather than hot spots and cold spots. Uh, over here, here's all my PEX coming out. I've got a board, a piece of plywood that's been in the sun, that looks nice and warm. But I also did some foam at the bottom. Nothing too crazy going on there yet because uh, it's not hooked up to uh, any hot liquid. But I just wanted to show you uh, what this concrete slab looks like um, as a, a thermal video. Here's something else uh, back here. Over 100 degrees, that's just uh, plywood that sort of by chance is laid up at almost the exact correct angle to be um, exactly perpendicular uh, to the sun. Uh, behind it is my shed. Uh, that's in the 80s. That's nice, but it's also painted a light bright yellow, whereas the plywood is at a better angle and it's, uh, it's a brown color, so that's really sucking up the heat. That's it for now. See you next time.